Hey everyone, my name is James, and today I want to talk about a previous Terraria update because right now I'm feeling very nostalgic for that update. I really liked it, and I just want to talk about it some more. So the update I want to talk about today is Terraria update 1.3.4. So for those on console who have not seen this update, they may just sound like numbers to you, but when I hear 1.3.4, I think back to something brilliant for Terraria. So this update was actually a year ago. If you don't know what it is, it's the Dungeon Defenders 2 update, the one that added the tower defense mode. And I just keep thinking back to it because it was so good. It was really, really good. So in the past year, we have had one update since the last one. So in the span of a year, we have had 1.3.5, which I really liked personally because it added the cloth year name James. So obviously I'm really biased to it. But other than that, you know, it didn't really add much to the game. But the one before it, 1.3.4, added a lot. And it changed a lot of things. And things I just really like were all included in this. So let's break it down. So the fun began with 1.3.4 weeks before it was even actually out. They actually started hyping up this update with these secret tweets that they were kind of spreading out and, and randomly retweeting, then unretweeting. And it allowed people like me to have a bunch of fun theorizing about the update on YouTube. And that just made it really fun. Like out of all of the, you know, the numbers that have ever come out of YouTube for, uh, for Terraria, 1.3.4 is way up there with 1.3. People were really excited to see what this update was about. And that's because the marketing for the update was just so good. You had Dungeon Defenders 2 making cryptic posts. You had Terraria making cryptic posts. You had so many little spoiler images. You had trailers, you know, Terraria style trailers. You had Meet the Dryad, which was another fantastic 3D trailer. And it was just a really good run-up to a really good update. You know, you don't see marketing like this across other games. You know, Terraria really know how to build up hype, and they did it best here, in my opinion. So once the update had actually been released, the gameplay itself was really, really good, in my opinion. So I'm a big fan of tower defense games, and I was really excited to see how it would be done, because I actually thought the concept for tower defense in Terraria Overworld, the sequel to Terraria, sounded really, really cool. I thought it sounded awesome, and we obviously haven't had that yet. So this was our first look at what that could be like. And it was good. It was really, really good. So I want to show you this little clip here of me and Python playing this update. This was our first time playing together. And I want to just show you how I reacted a year ago and how buzzed I was about this update. All right, okay. I'm going to... Oh, God. I'm going to classify... I've got three platinum on the floor. Oh! I'm going to classify why I love this event so much and why it's different for Terraria. And it's because in this event... You're not focused on your health and dying. You're focused on killing the enemies as fast as possible. Yes, yeah, it's, it's what you got to do, man. Like, when it comes to a boss, all you want to do is you want to take down its health so that, you know, you've beaten it. But in this mode, you want to take down the enemies as fast as possible. It's yeah. so good. Otherwise, so you're going to get absolutely destroyed. Oh, yo. The thing I honestly just like about, you know, the gameplay is that it just encourages you to play in a different way. You know, it's it's completely different than all the other Terraria stuff that's come before it. You now have a new type of currency, and I like games that do that. I like tower defense games where you build up a little bit of currency, add to what you've already got, kill some things, get some currency, and just keep on building on. Like, I like that. It was cool to see that in uh, in my favorite game. I just, ah, I, I, oh, I, whoa, this update. And I like that the music was great. The music was just brilliant. Uh, the enemies were brilliant, the sound effects were brilliant, the weapons were brilliant, and that's all because it was a big crossover with another game. So let's actually touch upon that. So I actually hadn't played Dungeon Defenders before I got into this update. You know, before I got into the hype of it, I'd never even heard of the game. So as it was all kind of coming out, I put in like 100 hours into Dungeon Defenders 2. Like I had these big binging sessions with a few of my like real life friends where we just played the game for hours. And I got really hooked on Dungeon Defenders 2. Like, the actual gameplay in Dungeon Defenders 2 is just brilliant. Like, it's really, really good. And I'm really thankful for the update because it actually showed me a really fantastic game. And to be honest, I don't think this update would have been nearly as good 
if it wasn't for the people making Dungeon Defenders 2 and them having made a brilliant update for their game. Like, Meet the Dryad, the trailer, was just brilliant. Uh, the Dryad NPC was really fun to use. I mean, she's pretty unique, and, and all the little summons that she has and all the weapons she has are really cool. It's cool to see Terraria weapons in another game. And I liked that there was a big Eye of Cthulhu boss. Uh, there was even a Terraria-inspired map. It was just good, honestly, all around. And to be honest, when I rank all of the updates in a big giant list, you know what? This comes surprisingly high because although it isn't a giant update that added thousands of new things and loads of new bosses, it did something really unique. So whoever leapt out and tried to make this crossover happen, thank you. I feel like you deserve a raise, my friend, because it was just so good. It was really good. And it was about a year ago now. Like I say, we've only had one update since then. But I'm already feeling nostalgic for 1.3.4. So I'm excited about the next update, 1.3.6. From the screenshots and the spoilers, it's obviously not going to be as good as 1.3.4. But that said, you just really never know before these updates come out. Alright, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I just wanted to talk about something that I've been excited about recently. I like this update. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to go play it some more. Right. <laughs> See you in the next one, guys. Peace.